I thought it was time to do another YouTube stream a little instead of doing a video like a highlights video that I usually do. Uh, let's do a little stream and come up with tips and tricks and whatever um, to like address some maybe some questions or whatever you want to have this is my new fucking song i love this song it's really good in my opinion can i download this i would love to uh, can i I can't download this, right? Ah, it's really good. It's holy crap, this song is good. So, anyway. <clears throat> this, uh, like I said, we... We right now um, just want to do, like, a little... What should we say? A little guide or uh, tips and tricks. Uh, I started to do it the last time I streamed and um, I thought let's do one now as well. A little freaking um, tips and tricks here on YouTube. I thought why not? Why not? actually really tasty it's really tasty so a tips and tricks so what we want to get to get going here like first of all we need to do this There are a lot of guides out there to show you uh, what to do in hideout. And I totally want, just want to say that that's 100% true um, when it comes to hideouts and when it comes to um, how to make a passive income in the hideout. And I want to go over it. I haven't like gotten any, um, like any upgrades. Basically, I've done some small upgrades in my hideout. Hideout. I haven't done that much, and just because I'm a low level and I don't have that much money, and this is basically a sinkhole when it comes to money. You can pour down so freakishly much money in the hideout to get it to max level and what I am concentrating on uh, in the hideout it's basically I'm concentrating on getting the med station up of course and you want to get to level 2 med station as soon as you can just because you can start making IFAX and and this is in my opinion it's a really good um, med pack and you want to start doing that and of course level one you can do salugas as well and they are really good as well but i preferred i pack i really do so get med station level two that's my suggestion uh, another thing is get a uh, lavatory up and you want to get this as, uh, to level two as well so you can start producing uh, mag cases. When you start producing the mag cases, you can both get more organized in your stash, one of all, and that's first of all. The second of all, you will actually get more... Uh, you can sell these for a decent chunk of money, 
but consider the material you're buying. That's my uh, suggestion to you. Like you don't want to buy every item here. Like if you find two gas cans, but you don't have the scissor or maybe one screw and both are missing. Okay, then buy those. Probably you're going to make a little bit of profit because you want to make a profit out of these if you want to sell them. I found this out very quickly when we got the hideout actually that this is a really good way to make money so i must say that this is probably the best way to do it uh, to get some cash flowing workbenches uh, as well i don't have this up to level two but you want to get this to level two as well just because then you can start crafting better ammo like uh, you can start crafting 5.56 uh, and stuff like that uh, so that would be really good the thing i'm concentrating on right now is getting actually the library up so i need rest place level two oh, or three i mean and that um i'm working towards that i'm getting on to level two now uh hopefully we can get that going really soon because of the boost raid experience and uh, group of skill leveling boosts that is really good so i want to get that up as soon as i can and that's my thoughts on the hideout of course so small small things uh, really small things and I love to have the this is a pro tip as well uh, I love to have my inventory organized I really love to have my um, inventory organized just because it feels so much better when you get out of a raid if you have it organized and you have um, you have like everything proper and everything uh, laying around we know where it is uh, you can put the new things over here and the new things other uh, stuff oh, um, on places So that's basically it, uh, I must say. That is what I usually do um, here in the yeah, um, beginning of the wipe. Because, like I said, I want to have it like a little bit organized. Of course, I want more containers. I don't, I'm not that high level. Um, I'm not struggling like making time to play, but I'm trying to get as much time as I can playing the game. Uh, that is actually what I'm doing uh, as much as I can um, of course balancing work and stuff like that so I want to like I said I want to have containers in the bottom that is my new style to make the uh, hideout or uh, or the stash organized the containers and other loose items and down as far down as you basically can just because um, then you can have new stuff coming in in on the top basically before I had all the containers upstairs in the top of the stash but I didn't like that at all to be honest it just made um, it very confusing what is new what is what what is old what uh, what am I going to keep whatever so this is basically the way I'm doing it now and so new stuff coming up in up top and just a, some loose things laying around as well of course that i don't know what to do with basically and then i organize everything in some kind of good way some kind of good way but that is what i do and i suggest um i suggest you have 
bit of money before you start upgrading your hideout as well because like i said uh, in the beginning it's really a sinkhole when it comes to money and the hideout it just you can pour so much money into the hideout and basically nothing uh, it doesn't take it uh, it's not a you don't feel an end you can sink like basically a couple of million into the hideout to get it to max level so it's basically a sinkhole and you want to do in the beginning you want to have a buffer with cash as well you don't want to get broke because if you get broke and you poured every last time you had into the hideout you can't buy gear and if you can't buy gear you can't do any raids as um, besides like hatchet runs but that's something we don't want to do it's uh, just in like an emergency thing i think not even then so that is my thoughts guys i hope you like this short stream uh, instead of making a video i did the stream instead uh, short and informative hopefully informative uh, when it comes to how i play in the start and how i do things in the start of a wipe like this basically we're still in the start we're going over there to the middle of the wipe basically so people are like high leveled and high geared already so but these basically these rules still apply i think i hope you find this video really good and i hope to see you live either here somewhere but hopefully live on twitch and check me out there and i'll see you there really soon have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye bye